In today's lesson, we will be using corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Take a minute to read over the learning goal in the scale. See where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. With side side side, side angle side, angle side angle, and angle angle side, we know how to use three congruent parts of two triangles to show that the triangles are congruent. Once we know that two triangles are congruent, we can make conclusions about their other corresponding parts because by definition, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. If we know two triangles are congruent, then we know that every pair of their corresponding parts is also congruent. In example one, we will prove parts of triangles congruent. Let's start with the given information that angle KBC is congruent to angle ACB and that angle K is congruent to angle A. Next, we know that side BC is congruent to side CB by the reflexive property of congruence. Since we have two angles and a non-included side that are congruent to corresponding congruent angles and a non-included side of both triangles, we know that triangle KBC is congruent to triangle ACB by the angle-angle side theorem. Since these two triangles are congruent, we know that all of their corresponding parts are also congruent. Since we're trying to prove that side KB is congruent to side AC, we know that they are congruent by CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Pause the video and do you try number one. We want to prove that angle C is congruent to angle E. Let's start with the given information that side BA is congruent to side DA and side CA is congruent to side EA. We know that angle CAB is congruent to angle EAD because vertical angles are congruent. Since we have two sides and an included angle corresponding to two congruent sides and an included angle of the other triangle, triangle CAB is congruent to triangle EAD by side angle side. And finally, since corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, angle C is congruent to angle E by CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. In example two, we will prove triangle parts congruent to measure distance. Tails, a Greek philosopher, is said to have developed a method to measure the distance of a ship at sea. He made a compass by nailing two sticks together. Standing on top of a tower, he would hold one stick vertical and tilt the other until he could see the ship, S, along the line of the tilted stick. With this compass setting, he would find landmark L, on the shore along the line of the tilted stick. How far would the ship be from the base of the tower? Let's start with the given information. Angles TRS and TRL are right angles. Because all right angles are congruent, angle TRS and is congruent to angle TRL. Now, let's use the reflexive property of congruence to state that side TR is congruent to side TR. Let's use our other given piece of information that states angle RTS is congruent to angle RTL. Since we have angle side angle of one triangle congruent to an angle side and an angle of another, we know that triangle TRS is congruent to triangle TRL by the angle side angle postulate. Since all corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, side RS is congruent to side RL. Pause the video and do you try number two. We want to prove that angle AMB is congruent to angle AMC. Let's start with the given information that side AB is congruent to side AC. Next, let's use the reflexive property of congruence to state that side AM is congruent to side AM. 
Now let's use the other piece of given information that states that point M is the midpoint of segment BC. By the definition of midpoint, side BM is congruent to side CM. Since we have one, two, three sides congruent to one, two, three corresponding sides of another triangle, triangle BAM is congruent to triangle CAM by the side 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 postulate. Since all corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent and angle AMB, AMB is corresponding to angle AMC, we know that angle AMB is congruent to angle AMC by CPCTC. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and complete the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions regarding these four exercises, please ask me in class. You've done so well with this lesson, why don't you take a shot at the challenge? I know you can do it. Take a minute to reread the learning goal in the scale. See how far you've climbed up the scale since we've covered this lesson.